Hi right, everyone, welcome to Dimension 7 and that will be about Cruver Jacob disease. CJD, Cruver Jacob disease. Cruver Jacob disease is caused by prion and a prion is a proteinaceous infectious particle and it's responsible for the formation of other diseases like Kuru, Familiar fetal insomnia, variant CJD, and uh, other examples. When it is variant Cruver Jacob disease, it's going to be in younger age group and it's going to be less rapid than diva in neuropathy. It's linked with bovine spongiform encephalopathy. So you're going to ask me, right, that from cow to man, well, it's possible to be transmitted via blood transfusion as well. How do we make diagnosis of CJD? CSL. When we assay the CSL for 14.33 protein and tau protein and they are positive, then we are going forward with EEG, electroencephalogram, magnetic resonance imaging and biopsy of tonsil. Most of the time, the definitive diagnosis is made post-mortem or depending on where you are on the surface of the planet, that is autopsy of the brain. And that is what will reveal spongiform encephalopathy, probably from bovine spongiform encephalopathy. And when that is done, it is definitive. So the definitive diagnosis is made at autopsy or postmortem, depending on where you are on the surface of the earth. What are the signs and symptoms? It's possible we have depression here. We can have anxiety, apathy, agitation, insomnia or hypersomnia, irritability and delusion. Still on signs and symptoms, responsibility of hallucinations, half body weakness, neuropsychiatric symptoms. The onset of symptoms to death is very short. It takes just months. Most of the time, between six to 12 months from the onset of symptoms till the affected individual will be pronounced dead. Responsibility of ataxia and nystagmus. Still, in signs and symptoms, there's possibility of myoclonus. Then, why is this a differential diagnosis of dementia? It's because there's possibility of impaired cognition and advanced dementia in few months. Advanced dementia in few months. Possibility of hyperreflexia and positive Babinski sign with extra pyramidal signs. The treatment here is mainly supportive and that will be mainly symptomatic. You can use benzodiazepines and anticonvulsants. Please no anticholinesterase here. That's why getting down to the differential diagnosis will help when you are dealing with dementia and you know the exact cause of the dementia in this individual. And here, Unlike Azama disease, here you cannot use anticholinesterase, just as the way you cannot use first-generation antipsychotics like aloperidol in dementia with Lewy bodies. In conclusion, you can see that it is very vital to get correct diagnosis because CJD is CJD. It is not Azama disease. Correct diagnosis will help. Kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can get these presentations immediately they are published. Thank you.